Potential energy is the stored energy of position possessed by an object. There are two types of potential energy, elastic and gravitational. We are going to focus on gravitational potential energy in this lesson. Gravitational potential energy is energy stored in an object as a result of its vertical position. As an example, let's say that Emily was suspended high off the ground. Well, not that high. But, anyways, to determine the gravitational potential energy of an object, a zero height position must first be arbitrarily assigned. Typically, the ground is considered to be a position of zero height. You can use the zero height position that you assign to determine the height in this equation. If you multiply the mass times the acceleration of gravity, times the height, you can find the gravitational potential energy of an object. Translation, these problems are on your worksheet. In the scenario shown in the picture, a cart is loaded with a brick and pulled at constant speed along an inclined plane to the height of a seat top. If the mass of the loaded cart is 3.0 kilograms and the height of the seat top is 0.45 meters, then what is the potential energy of the loaded cart at the height of the seat top? To find potential energy, use the equation potential energy equals mass times the acceleration of gravity times height and you get the answer as potential energy equals 13.5 joules. Translation, let's try another problem where potential energy is involved. Since the gravitational potential energy of an object is directly proportional to its height above the zero position, a doubling of the height will result in a doubling of the gravitational potential energy. A tripling of the height will result in a tripling of the gravitational potential energy. Using this principle to de determine the blanks in the following diagram, knowing that the potential energy at the top of the tall pillar is 30 joules, what is the potential energy at the other positions shown on the hill and the stairs? The answers of this question are A and B have a potential energy of 30 joules because she has the same mass is elevated to the same height as in diagram A. For E, the potential energy is 0 joules because the same mass is at the same zero position as shown in diagram A. For C, the potential energy is 20 joules because the same mass is elevated to, to two thirds of the height of the top of the platform. And for D, the potential energy is 10 joules because the same mass is elevated to one-third of the height of the top of the platform. Kinetic energy is the energy of motion. An object which has motion, whether it be vertical or horizontal motion, has kinetic energy. There are three types of kinetic energy, vibrational, rotational, and translational. To keep it simple, we will focus on translational kinetic energy in this lesson. Translational kinetic energy is the energy of an object due to motion from one location to another. An example of translational kinetic energy is Emily's daily jog. To find the translational kinetic energy of any object, use the equation 1 half times mass times velocity squared. Translation, these next problems are on your worksheet. Determine the kinetic energy of a 1,000 kilogram roller coaster car that is moving with a speed of 20 meters per second. When finding kinetic energy, use the equation kinetic energy equals one-half times mass times velocity squared.
kinetic energy in this problem equals 200,000 joules. Translation. Let's try another problem involving kinetic energy. If the roller coaster car from the previous problem was moving with twice the speed, then what would its new kinetic energy be? Okay. If the speed is doubled, then the kinetic energy is quadrupled. <gasps> Thus, kinetic energy equals 4 times 200,000 joules, which equals 800,000 joules. Translation. Let's put potential energy and kinetic energy together in some examples. This Christmas ball has gravitational potential energy because the string is suspending it in midair. If Emily were to cut the string with scissors or a pair of huge clippers, then all of the potential energy would be turned Come on. Come on, you can do it. All of the potential energy would be turned... Oh, just get the scissors back out. Come on, you can do it. Then all of the potential energy would be turned to... Kinetic energy. Good job, Emily.